hey, life after 50 and we're back. We're going to talk to Charlotte Wilson, who is 83 years old, and she just moved to an independent living community in North Carolina and see how she made that decision. Good morning, Jan. <laughs> what I say is, I think I'm making the right decision. I have just completed a big cross country adventure, moving from Berkeley, California area to Raleigh, North Carolina. And as my friend here says, well, at least I got you across the country. You're now on the East Coast. But I'm living in a lovely villa. My furniture all fits. I love decorating. I have it fixed to perfection. Everyone that comes in just says, oh, this is marvelous. And it is. But I'm in an area that's very new. Everything was just built up three years ago. My bank is only a little over a year old. Uh, I feel very lonely. I feel very, uh, it's very difficult to get established, and I'm not putting my whole effort into it either, because Raleigh doesn't appeal to me. And I've been here since November, actually, when I came and stayed with my friend, and I have not gotten a feel that I want to stay here. I used to live in Wilmington on the coast and Southport. It's a two-hour drive from here. And Wilmington is a very smallish, easy to get around, comfortable city. Plus I have dear, dear friends there that I made in the time that I lived in Wilmington three years and down in Southport for 15 years. So I was there a long time and I have dear friends there. I just feel I will be more at home because the fact that I had lived in California for 18, almost 19 years and that I could pick up in a month's time and move here lock, stock, and barrel, frightening, get new doctors because I have glaucoma, you know, at 82 you need all kinds of things. You can do it no matter what. And that has been a wonderful revelation to me that I have found the strength with the help of my friend, my young friend Diane here, and Jan, my other surrogate daughter. You can do it. It's a little support behind you. You can do anything you want to do. Okay. So, my friend Natalie, who's 10 years younger than myself, asked me to come and stay with her for a week, and we would go around and visit all the retirement independent living places. And she's interested also, but won't do it for a while. She's still young. And uh, we did. We had a great time that week going and visiting, and there were two that we liked, and I went back to this one that I did not choose to check it out and make sure I was making the right decision. And one of the big things that deterred me from that one, three meals a day. Too oh, much. You had to have three meals had a day? Had to have three meals a day. And you paid for three meals a day. And I'm diabetic, type 2, and I work very hard at keeping my A1C level normal. And I love to eat, and it's kind of an addiction. So right off the bat, I thought, no, that I wouldn't do well sitting down three meals a day, dressed with people and eating all these yummy foods. And the place was nice, but not a little tacky, a little run down in areas. The kitchen was like a motel kitchen that just had a wall with a few little things and a tiny, tiny refrigerator. There wasn't a feel of a real apartment kitchen. That wasn't appealing. I don't think the rooms were as large either. So we had gone to Brighton, I mean Brightmore, and we really brightened up at Brightmore because it's very lovely. It's lovely from the outside, and you go in, there's a lovely library there, the dining room. Only one meal a day is required, and you can do that at noontime for your dinner or nighttime. But you let them know ahead of time. Uh, the apartments are larger. They have wonderful storage areas. The kitchen is really a small, regular kitchen. No dishwasher, but lovely stove and refrigerator, full size. 
And it has a porch. The one that I chose has French doors off the living room that leads out to a 7 by 14 porch. Now isn't that appealing? That looks out onto the woods. And there are many activities. I still drive a little Jetta and I plan to drive for a while longer. But if I chose not to, they have what they call their coach that takes you everywhere. As all these independent places do, they're very similar. They'll take, they have a beauty parlor on the premises that, that does manicures and pedicures also. Very important to me. Uh, I just feel that I can make this my home and there is something going on all the time. A beautiful pool where they have exercises three mornings a week. And they're the kind of thing that I would enjoy because I have arthritis, the joints of an 80-some-year-old. We all do. <laughs> and uh, it, it just, it, it is expensive. It will be a strain. I'm having help to do this because it is not economical. It's not cheap, as they say. Well, but how much, tell me the different plans that they had. How, there was plan A, which you could put some money Plan up front. Plan A is if you buy a membership. And, and how much is that? Well, say for the unit that I'm going into, yeah. it's 30000 And then your rent is like twenty four. Okay. And if you don't buy the membership and you just pay straight rent, how much is that? The rent increases to thirty one. It's a big decision because you're putting out a lot of money, but when I did my budget, I realized that they're paying for everything but a landline telephone. And of course your car. I will have my car expenses. I will probably try to use my cell phone as my primary phone and not get a landline. They have a computer connection and computers in a certain area. They have game rooms. They have, I'm trying to think of all I saw. I know, yeah, when you walk in it's really fun because just past the main atrium entrance, over to the left is a bar and it looks like a pub. It's really attractive. And it's a wonderful little place with little small bistro tables and the bar has coffee, tea, and cookies. And anything you might want, if a friend comes in, you can sit. We saw that. Sit and visit with your friend and have some tea. Very pleasant. And when I went this last time, this past week with my friend Jan, we went and got ourselves a cup of coffee and visited with a seven-year resident who told us how much she loved it. She had a two-bedroom and that she would doesn't plan to leave. And... It was very encouraging, and I hope to meet more people. I would probably not move for two, two and a half months, so I have the opportunity to go again and check it out and hopefully meet more people. It's a big decision. It makes your stomach churn, and you wake up sometimes and think, what am I doing? My family thinks, what is she doing? <laughs> but I need to be around people. I need to be doing things. I need connections. 